I was an Italian by birth, and I became an American by choice. Our lives and freedoms are in danger. This is not a dream. If you're listening to this broadcast, you are the resistance. Welcome to Love, Guns, and Freedom. We're not afraid. Here we go, guys and girls. Another Sunday, another show. You're listening to Love, Guns, and Freedom with Luca Zanna on K Talks, 1340 AM. And also remember the new station, 104. Dot one FM. Uh, it's pretty beautiful, you know. I like to finally be on the FM, and of course, also if you want to listen to the show on the internet, go to lovegunsfreedom.com and you can also find out all the past episodes. Now, what's going on? I always say this show for me it is more than just a show, it's a tool, a tool to try to learn how to defeat corruption, to defeat globalism, the new world order to learn from each other, being inspired by each other. That's the idea. That's only probably the only reason why I'm still on the air, because honestly, I don't care. I couldn't care less to be behind the microphone. I don't have the type of ambition or desire. Oh, my gosh, you want to become the new radio guy? I don't care. But I think this is, for me, a way to try to reach out other people, not just here in America or in Moabie County, but now more than ever around the world. I really appreciate the opportunity through Facebook and also through this show to have met uh, hundreds of new people, friends, and people maybe I will never meet before, but very inspiring, very connecting, very realizing that we have so many things in common, so many challenges, so many also dangers that we are facing as humanity, as free humanity, or what's supposed to be free, against this uh, global tyranny that is upon us. So when I find solutions, I'm the first one to try to share them. And this is exactly the idea of the show. Now, back to local, Mojave County, Arizona. You know, I believe really that at the end of the day, no matter where you are, uh, corruption, it belongs to human being. Uh, I'm not saying every human being is bad. I'm not saying every human being is corrupted, but it's part of the nature. Then some people, whenever they have a chance to abuse power, they will abuse that power. Whenever they have a chance to get away with uh, any type of crime, they will do it if they know that they're not going to pay consequences. Uh, it's called so free choice. You know, some people can uh, do the right thing without any supervision, but some people, they will try every time to, let's say, uh, create um, the condition for corruption. And when corruption, what means? It means also that uh, there is no more a system based on, on what's supposed to be justice. It doesn't need to go all the way to Washington with Hillary or Obama. No, all this can happen at local level. What do we do? Well, I, I've been uh, following with very much interest on Facebook a page, a page from a good friend of mine that uh, I'm not bringing here on the show because he's a friend. No, this is a different, you know. This is about a show that uh, doesn't care about friendship. He cares about facts. So I'd like to bring him on because I really believe this man He's been uh, creating an interesting, let's say, interest, curiosity, and also a little bit of fear, in my opinion, among the potential uh, corruption in our county. So his uh, website, it is not a website, it's a Facebook page, is Moave County Wikileaks. Let's see what this gentleman has to say. By the way, his name is Ed Mack, by one of the owners of Plum Crazy and E3 Arms. Ed, are you there? Hey, perfect. Thank you. Listen, I always excited when I see things that uh, I really see starting from an idea. You know, you told me about that uh, probably a few weeks ago, and then you created this page called. Uh, be sure I got it right. What is the name of the Facebook page? First of all, you have also an address. Okay, so easy to find, and uh, yeah, tell me about. Uh, this page exactly uh, why did you create this page what was the your idea your original goal yeah the reason why i started this page is because during my wife's campaign um i got to know all of the politicians in our county each and every one of them and i i, I saw a side of them that the that the voter and the citizens do not see 
And um, I actually, I was disgusted. And I saw things that, uh, well, you know, I, I'm not even going to go into it right now. But being that I saw that, every night after the campaign, you know, campaign day, we'd come home and I'd say to my wife, i go, you know, Corey, what an honor to be elected. What a privilege to be elected. Elected by the people. The people look at you and they, they vote for you and they trust you and they're going to trust your leadership. And I'm sitting there going, how dare these people? How dare these people act the way they do? You know, and they're two-faced. And and I said to myself, I said, you know, after the election, we, you know, after the election happened, I told my wife, I said, you know, we, I'm going to start this page, and um, I'm going to speak up. I'm going to speak up, you know, for our county. And and I figured that, you know, I don't have a paycheck. I'm self-employed. I, I, I don't have to worry about a boss firing me. Um, and there's a lot of sheriff's deputies out there. There's a lot of police officers out there. There's a lot of secretaries of various, um, you know, uh, public figures here that would love to come forward, but they would lose their jobs. Mm. Their family would go without because if they spoke out, their job is gone. And guess what? During the campaign, I watched, I watched an employee get fired and it was just silent after that. Because he spoke up, and that makes me disgusted. And there's nothing anyone can do about it. They run the show. Wow. But you know what? I started this page, and I said to myself, you know, we're the boss. You listeners, you guys are the boss. We're the boss. These people work for us. What we elected them. We put our. What type of response did you have? How many, uh, let's say, members in this board, uh, just to have an idea? Because this is a local board. It's called Moave County Weekly. Well, yeah, I just started. We only, we only have uh, 2,000 so far, but I, 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 I've done a contest, hmm. um, and I picked 50 people to come forward. If they're interested, I got 50 within a few hours. And I said, then we did like a little drawing. So I pull out 20 so I can keep track. And basically, I am giving away three free firearms. Wow! Yeah, uh, first place, second, second place, and third place. Whoever brings in the most, it started yesterday, Thursday at 6 a.m. or today at, at 6 a.m. and it ends next Thursday at 6 p.m. And whoever wins wins the the higher priced uh, firearm and second place and third place all the way down. And which it, it's it's kind of a fun thing that the community can get involved. And I know that it will actually it will bring in. Uh, you know, because what we're going to do is like every month we're going to give away a firearm or, or something. And what I like to do to, to help the community is, is, you know, find various businesses would like to maybe, you know, volunteer like maybe a meal, you know, or, or a free meal or free pizza or whatever. And we could do a little infomercial, all free, to help our community, help our businesses. But at the same time, we can keep our community informed on what's going on behind closed doors and basically what it does is it keeps our politicians in check. It's not about bashing politicians. This is not about, you know, destroying people. It's about keeping them honest. And the only way we can bring the power back to the people is to have something like Mojave County WikiLeaks page. And, and I'm hoping this spreads to every county in the country, and we can help, just like Donald Trump, we can drain the swamps in our communities. So... I think this would be the uh, great thing, and I'm hoping that we can get at least, I believe, how many, do you know the population of Mojave County is 233,000? About 200,000 people, mm-hmm. something like that, yeah, without counting okay. cows and things like that, yeah. Well, well i got to find out how many Mojave County residents and voters are actually uh, Facebook, you know, they actually have a Facebook account, and that's who I'd like to bring in. I'd like to bring in all of our voters. So when something comes up and it could be broadcasted out, and these politicians will look and they'll go, oh, my God, he, you know, this is coming out to the voters. These are the people that vote me in. I best be on my best behavior. It's a, it's a, it's a wonderful thing, and it keeps everyone honest, and it puts power back in our hands. I mean, we, we actually we get the reins back. We're, at, we're in charge. We're the boss again. Oh. And, and I believe this is the greatest thing that, that can, has ever happened in Mojave County. Wow. You know, one thing I tell you, I like the idea, of course, that uh, – if you can get at least uh, information that is unfiltered by the media, and why I'm saying that, because I realize more and more with my personal experience uh, that unfortunately the media here, like in every, I don't say in every, but in many local communities, uh, media are pretty much uh, easy to influence, 
through sponsorship. Uh, I told you about my situation with the King Madeli Miner. Without mentioning names, I was told that directly by the editor, honestly. Uh, my little column that I've been doing for about probably five weeks about firearm safety and training, things like that, I was having a great response. The editor was very excited. And out of the blue, it was a local company in Kingman uh, that uh, they also do among their services. They also do uh, CCW classes. And they say, hey, we're going to pull our advertisement if we don't remove Zanna out of the page, uh, out of the article. Think about that. So I can understand how we don't really have media that they do share information. It is pretty much just a bunch of paid off advertisement. Whatever. And even that comes down to politics, of course. So I, I like the idea of Facebook as a free independent media that there is not really any type of control. People can express themselves and more important, they can bring information that normally I believe the average newspaper would be afraid to publish. That's for me very important. One thing though I must tell you, I'm not really, you know, when you mention Donald Trump and you mention WikiLeaks, there is a little problem there. What do you think about President Trump uh, uh, pretty much now changing his opinion about Assange and uh, making a public enemy. After all, I really believe Assange has been uh, the cause why, one of the causes why President Trump became president. Uh, to, to be honest, I, I believe that, you know, because he has uh, various advisors, and I believe that a lot of the uh, globalists have crept in, yeah. and they're advising him on things, and uh, Trump is actually, he is for America. Um, just... Just look at the things that he's doing. I mean, look at the executive no, no, orders. I, I, he is for I agree. America. I agree. I understand. I, yeah, I look at this. Yeah, yeah. But, the problem but he's is, being influenced. I understand. I mean, look, today, for example, I'm going to talk about the Paris, uh, you know, a treaty for the global warming scam. Mm -hmm. You know, this is amazing. I mean, that's mm -hmm. something that uh, probably, you know, something's going to happen just because uh, this is beyond him. This is a global agenda that somehow now he's trying to delay and stop and slow down. So... But at the same time, you know, we're talking about WikiLeaks. I understand Trump mm -hmm. is surrounded by members of Council of Foreign Relations and other globalists. But this is huge because uh, WikiLeaks, after all, all he's been doing is being given the chance to know the truth about many things. And now to the idea that this man could be on the hit list for the CIA to knock him down when Donald Trump all has to say, hey, wait a second, we don't kill people, especially when they spread the truth. Uh, at least he deserves the trial. Sure. That's number one. But uh, anyway, just uh, my little, you know, sometimes I try yeah. to always bring something like that. Now, Lister, um tell me about a little bit of this situation with the guns, because I know people re responded. I saw that overnight. You put out this idea that you were giving some sort of a free guns to people that would like to volunteer. And overnight, out of the blue, what type of, a mem how many more membership you had just in one night? It was an incredible jump for a local I, board. I, I, I would have I would have to look. I know one thing. My phone basically froze up, and my computer screen froze up. Um, and, but the, here's the thing: how we keep members? Because um, a lot of people, you know, they're not interested in politics. And I always say this: if you're not interested in politics, trust me, politics will put an interest in you. Yeah. Um, you you, you, you got to pay attention. That's why our country is is, is where it's at right now. Because we don't care. We are bombarded by television. We're bombarded by partying and. And, you know, what's the Kardashians doing? They're taking the focus off what's really going on, and, and they're just keeping you, you know, in, in, a, in a, like a false, uh, it's, a, it's, it's, it's like a fantasy land. But real fast, I, I want to make this clear. Um, if there's anyone listening, uh, very, very important, um, I have a P.O. box. If you have any information, remember, we want facts. I don't, we don't want rumors. We need facts. Um, Please go ahead and, and you send it to P.O. Box 764, Lake Havasu City, Arizona. The zip code is 86405. Again, P.O. Box 764, Lake Havasu City, Arizona, 86405. You can go ahead and keep, you can be anonymous. Uh, just make it out to uh, Ed Mack. And um, I will never give out your name, and that is a promise. And uh, if you ever want to meet with me, whatnot, we can meet in a public place. We can meet behind closed doors. Whatever information you have, if you're afraid to give it out, trust me, I've already had many people come forward. I do have things uh, on file. Um, matter of fact, one thing I took, I took care of internally 
because I, I didn't believe it should have been out in the public. And not that I'm making the decision here. It wasn't anything as a threat to our community. It was an internal thing within some departments here. They came forward. Uh, I gave the information to the correct person. It has nothing to do with, with the public at all. It had something to do with a, um, an individual. And uh, I just I, – I, remember, we have to remain we, – we, we have to have some kind of order, law and order in our country. Because once the people lose, they lose that security of law and order, um, then we have chaos and anarchy. And we have to have laws in place. We have to have some kind of respect and, 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 and law. And, uh, but I will tell you one thing. We have to, uh, we have to change the landscape of this, this country quick. And I'm hoping that other counties that are listening will start their own WikiLeaks page and, and do this. We will we will drain the swamp ourselves. We 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 will do it. And and just a real real quick, I'd like to add. Um, during my wife's campaign, I had some evidence, and I went to um, well, I went to the highest authorities you can in the state. I'm 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 gonna I'm not gonna go too far on this because I. I anyways, I went to the media, the mainstream, which was liberal uh, liberal media uh, station. Liberal media stations saw all the facts. They had it. They said, oh, wow. But guess what? Because what was said in, in this recording we had had something to do with some Republicans that had their hands dirty in something, which is their opposition. The liberals and the, and the Republicans are supposed to be in opposition, right? They said, we, we can't do that because we work wow. with this group of people. And I, and I went, oh, really? Wow. They go, but no, we, we can use this part and use, we can utilize that. But, we can't do any of this, okay? And I went, and that's when I sat there and I went, oh, my God, the media picks and chooses the truth. Yeah. They, they it, you know, and locally here, you know, I, I know some people here at the Herald here, and I really, I really have a lot of respect in them, but their hands are tied. I brought in stuff before, and there they go, we, I know, I know it, I see it, but we can't publish it. Why? Mm-hmm. Well, our boss won't let, it, and it's just like wow. So you know, we can't count on the media anymore. Wow. So I have this WikiLeaks page. Now you people, don't be afraid. You come to me. I, 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 I'm not afraid. Like I said, I don't have a paycheck. No one can fire me. No one can bring any harm on me. I've already been audited after launching this WikiLeaks page. I, I, I you know, I, you have no idea. So I'm not afraid. I will stand up for you people, and I will take a, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll go to bat for you guys. You come, you come before me, you know, come to me, and I will try to get the truth out, and let's get this, this community, you know, back on track, and let's get some integrity and honesty back in our, in our leaders. Um, I will say one thing. There, there is a leader here, um, and I won't say his name, but uh, I know he'll be listening. Uh, I have a lot of respect in this person. Um, the whole, all the politicians is absolutely, they, they hate this man because he doesn't spend their money frivolously and he butts up against them every single time. And, and I have a lot of respect in this man for that. He, he is a good steward of the taxpayers' money. And I, I just, I take my hat off to that man. And, and, you know, a lot of people might not like some of the things he does, but let me tell you something. All in all, the guy's here to do his job, and he saves us money. So just wanted to throw that out there. Okay. But, um, Since uh, you were talking about justice, law, and order, and all this stuff, and I agree with you, mm-hmm. I mean, now it's like how many months are we from uh, since uh, the beginning of his presidency? Uh, six months uh, with President Trump? Uh, let's see here. We're, we're, we're June. November, he took yeah. office in January. So. Yeah, six months, about six months. Yeah, about, now, five, about five months. Yeah, we have a new, months, yeah. a, a new you know, attorney general. And uh, we know that uh, Mrs. Clinton, uh, anybody else, any other person in, in this country, or even coming from any part of the world, would have been at least uh, under uh, a trial. You know, I mean, the charges, mm-hmm. that's huge. Uh, this is something that I cannot believe that she's still walking around, smiling, and giving speeches. I mean, what the heck is... I mean, at this point, let's be honest, there is no more law and in, in justice here. There is no more law and order. The law is just for the slaves like us. They, they will throw a book at you if they find something, even just with your audit or any type of situation. It could be IRS or it could be anything. 
They can throw the book at yeah. us. And then people like her, she can do perjury, she can do treason, she can do everything she wants, and she can keep doing keep, nothing's going to ta- happen to her. So is, do we really have law and in, in order? I mean, after all, President well, Trump, wh- what is he doing about this? But, look, look I, 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 I come back to this. Um, the, the, remember, the media is bought and paid for by special interest corporations and, and lobbyists. I know all about lobbyists. I'm going to watch my mouth about it because I have family that are lobbyists, and I do not see eye to eye with them. And they're very, very powerful lobbyists. They're Washington lobbyists. And, um, and they, are the, they are the problem. And I told them, you guys are the problem. They go, no, we're the solution. And we have politicians here just in our, our county. They're heavily influenced by, by uh, lobbyists and, and special interests. They have their agenda, and, and that's it. It doesn't matter what you people, you guys voted them in. They don't care. They do not care what you guys think. It, it's, it's, it's their agenda or the highway, period. I have seen this. I, 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 I witnessed this, and this is what's going on. And, and my solution is this, you guys. We, this WikiLeaks page is a start in our county. Maricopa will do it, Pinal County, and Coconino, and, and goes to Pima County, Santa Cruz, all of them. We, we, we need to start doing this in our state. It will catch like wildfire. Other patriots will see this, and it will happen in all the counties. And guess what? The mainstream media, it's already failing anyways. The truth's going to get out there now. Now yeah. the truth's out there, okay? Everyone's going to be have their own WikiLeaks page. And it matters not what's going on. What's going on now? Leaders have to prosecute. They have to know why, because their jobs are on the line now. Yeah. We can fire them immediately. We can recall them now. So this is very, very important. It's a very dangerous thing that I, I just started. Very, very dangerous. But I, I have enough evidence here that I'm not really worried about. I have, uh, I have taken a lot of this evidence and I've shifted off to Boston. Some of it to, to Florida. Uh, anytime I get any evidence, I make a copy immediately, and it gets it, it sent out immediately. Wow! So that yes, so I, I that's how I do it. Just in case anything was ever to happen to me or my family, uh, they they know one thing to just dump it all out, it just uh-huh. dumped out. And also, if my WikiLeaks page gets taken down, or Wiki our the community's WikiLeaks page gets uh, sent, uh, shut down for somehow, very simple. It's called. Uh, during my wife's campaign, we did mailers. Okay, it cost about twenty to twenty-five thousand dollars, which I'm willing to pay. Mm. And I'll send a mailer to our own private website for everyone to join. So the, you can't shut down the private website. So, and I'm willing to spend twenty-five thousand dollars to get, you know, our new website to every voter in our county. So if they want to shut us down, it's not a problem. We we're not going anywhere. Wow. So this is our fail safety. And what do you think, Luca? I think it's a great start. Listen, this is, as you said, you know, we, first of all, yes, we need to identify the problem. But then we need to find solutions. Otherwise, if we cry all day and copy and paste, uh, you know, on Facebook the same message with a thumbs up or whatever, it doesn't solve anything. So I think what you're doing, it's incredible because, uh, first of all, it's about creating a true fo- source of information that, unfortunately, we know the media uh, in, I don't care if they are national or local media. We know that true sponsorship and uh, you know corruption, they are paid off. I'm sorry, it's true. I saw that with my Correct. own eyes, and you know, with your own eyes. So I'm not saying that the journalists are bad people, but unfortunately, the top management yeah. and more important, the Department of Advertisements, they will pretty much control the source of news they want out put out. Now, uh, I see here on your page, for example, in just few days, I think in a couple of days, more than 300 people. Uh, 2062 news uh, people, new people. Uh, you are more, almost now 2,000 members. I mean, this is a local uh, board in a few days. Seriously, now I believe with the idea of uh, recruiting people, giving them an incentive, you could reach at least uh, 10,000 people. And believe it or not, remember, this is if for every person who is on the board is a part of a family. And let's say you multiply that by four or five, well, you start, Absolutely. I mean, Absolutely. you don't need to have everybody, mom and grandma. You know, even just let's say dad is on the board, and then when he comes back, dad, dad at night and at dinner, and talks to family. That's incredible voice. So, and more important, you're doing this uh, just with uh, an idea mostly. Of course, you're putting out some money with the rifles, but that's not really much compared to what you can create. And I said, you know, everybody out there, 
even if you don't have the resources to give free bill or give away, start an idea like this. I think it's incredible. And you don't need to be just in America. If you're in New Zealand, in Australia, get a source of information that uh, bypass the control media. That's, I think, it's incredible. I want to give you the floor to close. Anything you want to say about anything? Um, no, I do appreciate you having me on there. And, and I, it's, it, it's, it's a blessing to be able to uh, live in a free country still, you know, we're kind of still free here, um, to be able to, to do something like this. And, and, I, and I believe we're going to start a movement here. Um, I, I'm just happy that, that we're, gonna, we're actually going to bring the people of Mojave County back in control. We're, we're going to be the boss again. And that there's, there's no greater feeling to know that, you know, this is the, the first step in, in bringing honesty and integrity uh, back into our, our, our communities. It, it, it's a wonderful thing. But on this page also, um, I would like to, I would like to also say, um, it's not all about just destroying politicians and, and it's not, that's not, that's not what it's about, destroying politicians. It's about telling the truth. You know, if, if you're a politician out there listening and you're doing something, collusion or any kind of felonies or any kind of illegal things that, uh, or even work with special interests and in, in that, that, you know, the public should know about, you're going to be found out, and I'm going to put you on notice right now. And uh, we have a right to find out because we elected you. You work for us. We don't work for you. We're the boss. And, um, you know, and, and if you're a politician that's doing really well and, 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 you, and you're helping people, you're helping our community, and you're really working hard for us, you will be praised, and you will be, you will be broadcasted on here. And you will deserve the praise. Um, and that's, that's what it's going to be all about. Um, like I said, I, I want to be able to help the community. Maybe we can put a little free advertisement on there. And, and, and just it's going to be a wonderful thing. And, uh, and that's about it. You know, I'm sure we'll do some more. more um, Next time more, I would like to ask you a little, little bit of some updates about, so, you know, you have some posts that people can say they're controversial. For me, they're pretty much just straightforward. Mm -hmm. I talk about the same things on the air. Uh, unfortunately, mm -hmm. you know, what we are facing here with this uh, part of, uh, you know, part of the problem comes from our government because they are allowing this I to happen. You. I'm talking about this invasion. I mean, this is uh, not just a, a, a flux of refugees. This is an invasion calculated by design. Oh. Uh, we're talking about in Europe, uh, people, I, I say, people, go check it out. Yes. The Calergy plan, it was planned more than uh, 70, year, 70 years ago. Uh, the complete destruction of sovereignty of each nation, and they were planning to use for this goal uh, the invasion of pretty much what they call now the refugees. They are not refugees at all. They just opened the gates of all the parts of the southern world. It is not just the, uh, let's say, Syrians or whatever. It's all Africa. And you know what? Their goal is to create a new race. I'm not saying that. This is Mr. Kalergi wrote in the book. And guess what? All these globalists right now, like, for example, the prime minister of Germany, the Merkel, uh, she won a few years ago, three years ago. She, was, she got awarded the Kalergi plan, excuse me, the Kalergi pri prize. This is the prize for the globalists who believe that we're supposed to have no borders and we're supposed to become all one race uh, of slaves, of course, because that's pretty much what they want us, with no rights. Uh, so this is part of the plan. Yes. You are very vocal. I like that. You're not afraid because I tell you, not many people I know that they have the type of, of uh, you know, just courage. That's what it is uh, because it's not just – they say the things that you say here, if you were saying in Europe with the laws that they have in Europe and not having a First Amendment, you would be at least – you would be sued and more important, you would be also fined by the government. And if you don't pay that fine, Absolutely. you would be arrested. The same things happen. For, for example, the very famous actress uh, Brigitte Bardot, that she wrote a letter to the editor. It was a very polite letter about how France is being invaded by a Muslim uh, overreach of, of, of uh, without control. And guess what? She had to pay 16,000 euro of fine. Otherwise, she would go to jail. So, uh, what do you think about really what the politicians are doing here? Because uh, it seems like they are all part of this plan, at least most of them, many of them. Well, I, I don't believe like our local politicians are part of the plan. I think what's going on here is the, we have political correctness. You know, what happened is the progressive globalists, what they have done is they, anyone who stands up and says anything about this refugee crisis is immediately going to be labeled as a racist, Islamophobe, xenophobe, uh, intolerant. 
And these are these are these are communistic uh, tactics, basically, to keep your your mouth shut. Because here's the thing: there's a video. If you go to Mojave County WikiLeaks and scroll down, I think about seven to nine videos. Within three days, I got five thousand one hundred fifty-seven views, and that's locally in Mojave County. And I basically put our politicians on notice. And in that video, I explained to them. I said, you know, people, please, you need to call, you know, our Sonny Borelli, Regina Cobb. John McCain, Jeff Flake, Paul Gosar, Paul Mosley, and Doug Schuster, our sheriff. And you need, to, you need to give them a call and tell them that they need to touch on this subject because I'll tell you what, this refugee crisis is a manufactured crisis. Uh, if you look at what's the thing, John Branham, our ex-CIA agent, our ex-CIA director, he converted to Islam and he was under Obama's reign. And basically what that guy did, I, I, this is what I believe, they destabilized the region in Syria and I, I mean, uh, Infowars just showed the other day that that the actual German government is actually shipping these people in, saying that they're refugees and they need help. But they actually, they're actually just throwing them on boats and bring them over there. Wow. And it's to destabilize the region. Yeah. It's, it, it's they're doing it here. The problem is with America, we have firearms. And from day one, I've been in the gun business for a long time, and I've watched our politicians and these school shootings and all this, this stuff, everything to take our firearms away. The Fast and Furious. My company was involved with the Fast and Furious. I witnessed ATF agents walk into my building without warrant. I, I watched them take all my records without warrant. Wow. I, I, I saw the cover-ups. I've had three agents come to me. They, they moved them in different places in this, in, this, in this country. And they took their laptops. The Justice Department, Eric Cole, they took their laptops and gave them new ones and gave them cushy jobs and moved them away from this area because they were, they were, they were what is it called? They were backtracking. All of the stuff that they were doing, they were, they were, if you remember, all the mainstream media is doing Fast and Furious. They kept saying that it's the border dealers, America's guns, they're causing all this violence at the border. It was all manufactured, the whole thing, to get rid of our gun rights. Once we get rid of our gun rights, we become like England. And now look at England, look at Germany, look at Sweden, yeah. uh, look at France. They're yeah. bombarded by refugees. They've taken over. I mean, yeah. Sharia law is there. Exactly. You can't even speak out against that. No, and it's no. coming here in America. I agree. No, this is exactly so, the, 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 we are the last uh, hope for humanity. I really believe because yes, once yes, America we are, it's gone. Everything else is gone. Lisa, I have another guest, but Lisa, I want to thank you for everything you're doing, and uh, and I'm glad. I hope you can inspire more and more people out there because now you know you have uh, my opinion shown what can be done with no excuses. We know any type of knowledge. You don't need to be a scientist or a professor or a journalist. Just start open your own WikiLeak, local WikiLeak uh, Facebook page, and more important, try to get people to find the news, to create the, the information, and confront the politicians with this information that normally nobody wants to talk. So this is powerful, and I think now more people doing that. I don't care where you are. We have a beginning, and more important, what I like about you uh, many people, you know, um, they have nothing to lose, okay? Because after all, guess what? Some people don't, don't have nothing to lose, so it's easy for them to say, let me do something, but they don't do it. But when I see somebody like you that uh, you built your own life, uh, your career, that is your business, and, you know, these bastards out there, they can make life, life miserable. Uh, they can, you know, government, after all, you know, when we are in business, we need what? A license. So we are not really free to yeah. work. We always need to beg for that license. And any time they can find an excuse, they can remove the license. So you have a lot to lose, in my opinion, like many of us. But at the same time, you know, you go out there and you are not concerned uh, for your personal consequence. And you're still doing your part. And that's what I think is inspirational. That's why I think everybody out there say, after all, Mr. Uh, Mac out there, he doesn't really need to do this. You could lock your doors and uh, stay home and mind your business. Uh, instead, you, my opinion, you try to do what you think is right. And regardless, people may say, I agree with you or not, politically. No, this is not about politics anymore. It is about try to spread out the truth and remove corruption from our government. So thank you, Ed, okay? Thank you very much. All right. Okay. Okay.